because this country, he loved his family, and there's no better final resting place than Texas A&M University for George Bush. Duty, honor, country, that epitomizes the Texas Aggies. He loved the mm. Texas, he loved the Texas band, he loved the Texas core, and he selected A&M as his presidential library, and it will be a beautiful place for him to, left, uh, to rest to eternity. You no doubt have been following uh, the memorials that have been going on this week and obviously the, the National Cathedral funeral yesterday. Today was very different and personal. Your thoughts? Well, this was uh, their church in Houston, their friends, uh, people that had empowered them and supported them for 50 years uh, there in the Houston community that George and Barbara Bush, this was their home. And so, of course, it was more personal. And that was a beautiful tribute by Secretary Baker. Mm -hmm. uh, and it combined, I thought, very favorably with the majesty that we saw in the National Cathedral yesterday in Washington. You know, I'm, try I'm straining to read that board that is up there. Um, you've got a split screen right now because you're seeing people who are gathering near the, uh, the parking lot where this is. You've got the color guard there as well. You have the train, and now we are waiting just seconds from now to see the motorcade pull in. Uh, but all the people outside and along the route of this, some 10 cities along the way once that train pulls off, uh, we have some activity there in the parking lot, and I'm going to ask my crew to let me know when you see the first car pull into screen because I'll lower my voice and Congressman Hill, we will watch and listen together. But before that happens, I was talking about the history of this and the vision that it took to incorporate this into his journey home. Uh, we've only seen this eight other times in the U.S. history using a train such as this. Well, this beautiful train engine painted in the colors of Air Force One was actually painted in my district in North Little Rock, Arkansas at the mm -hmm. Union Pacific uh, facility there. And it's been in storage wow. there waiting for this historic moment. I went out and had a chance to look at her uh, about three or four weeks ago. And it's a beautiful engine. And it's just completely fitting that this engine once again pulls into the station at College Station with George Bush on one final trip. He loved it. We had a Union Pacific train. Uh, take all the guests to the opening of the George Bush Presidential Library at Texas A&M. So it seems particularly fitting and beautiful that that last ride is with the Union Pacific on the 4141. Well, and I, I know you talk about it being painted in your district. I, I know that it is very rare for them to paint one of these trains, Union Pacific, any other color than yellow. Well, that's their color. That's their trademark. But uh, they love George Bush. George Bush. Uh, really wanted this uh, and I think it's a fitting as I say tribute and it's fascinating to see the Air Force one colors uh, and the number 4141. I was I was just so stunned when I saw it up close and personal with a fresh coat of paint. It was so <laughs> inspirational. Yes, I, I did not know the detail that it had been painted and in, in your district and that you had actually been, have you been inside this train? I mean, you can give us some details about what is going on with 4141 as the uh, motorcade pulls up. I have now. not been inside that engine, uh, but uh, I can tell you it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of work by the men and women in North Little Rock, Arkansas at Union Pacific. The motorcade arriving now, and the nation has watched in the last 24 hours together the ceremonies, the memorializing of this president. Uh, but this has a finality to it now, Congressman Hill, because we know that this is the final route to his resting place. And it will go through several cities, as we've been sharing with our viewers, uh, on its way to College Station for two and a half hours. People already lined up. We have cameras in all those places, and we can see. Uh, what is going on ahead of time. Congressman Hill, if you would be so kind as to stand by, I also have my friend Ed Rollins standing by on set with me. I want to bring in Ron Kaufman, President George H.W. Bush's former White House political director. Ron, you're with me? I sure am, Harris. Are you where you can see the screen right now? Yes, ma'am. We are watching this then, and we will choreograph for our audience together what is happening. Uh, this is a departure ceremony. And the last uh, that we will see as the president leaves his remains and family leave aboard this special train. I want to get your thoughts. Well, that train is so right, as Congressman Hill said. 
It's terrific. Congressman French said, it's terrific. Uh, we were on it, as you mentioned, going down from Houston to College Station uh, to the opening of the library. It's an awesome train. It's more than just the engine. The whole train is, is configured to be like uh, Harry Truman's train in a way. Mm. And everyone on it is fabulous. And I'll tell you this, President Bush is very happy right, right now. There's no place he'd rather be on this ride than being on 4141. Ron, and I'm sure that he's just, I'm, I'm he's going very to step in for just a moment. Let's all watch and listen. Lower our voices. Steve could get him. 